Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So in today's video is actually going to be a pretty simple, straightforward video where we're actually going to be um, making an autocomplete for an input field, right? So what do you have? So I have a React component, which has a state for users. So fetching the users from an API somewhat. Then we have a uh, handle chain function, which is going to handle any input change from the user right so when the user types in something we want to search for that user from an api or something right so that's what a handle chain function is doing and we have obviously we have our react render components and stuff so we have the input here with the inside the label where for the users and then we have another uh, component here which is data list right so the data is going to contain all the options or the users that can be that will be the uh, uh, the autocomplete uh, fields or the autocomplete options for this input field and how do we link this data list to the input field and that's via the keyword uh, the sorry the attribute list and the id for the data list right so we have data list it has an id of users and if you want to link the data list to the inputs, we use the attribute of list and then write the name of users or the data list ID that I want to link it to. So what will happen here is that the data list will be on the page, but it doesn't exist, right? But when the user is typing in something, we want to make a search or it will then pop up the options that we have. Okay, so we want to search for a user. So we have the options, from an API or something, so we can pick up on it, which is a name or a user that is somewhere in the API, right? So, this is a quick and easy way of making uh, an autocomplete field, right? You don't have to really design anything, you are just making use of the browser's native uh, autocomplete in order to populate a field, right? And also another thing that I want to also add here is that we are using a debounce here, right? The debounce here is to ensure that we do not make a fetch request multiple times. Anytime the person types in something, it keeps making requests, keeping we don't want to do that. We want to only make the request when there's a little pause in the user's typing, right? So that's what the debounce is here for. Obviously there are other ways that you can do this uh, through using use effects, or using react query any of these options which is actually which is good right in this case i wanted to make a very simple example that you can actually create autocomplete fields within your application without having to really do any kind of css design uh, use uh, you no know, display on do the css display and all that to remove the components do not show like you don't necessarily have to do anything you just need a data list have your input link between the both of them and then put your options here and then the browser just takes care of everything right yeah so uh this is one way of creating autocomplete fields uh do let me know uh of your uh, input on this if this is a good idea no this is my uh this is a bad idea any any thoughts on this and what are your you know solutions to adding autocompletes to uh, to your applications right to your input fields all right so thanks very much for joining me and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks